You have likely seen the Prayers from Maria Sunflower Field along I-90 in Avon. The organization broke ground on another location today at Cedar Point. And they hope to raise awareness and funds to fight pediatric brain cancer. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins introduces us to a family at the center of that fight. She loves hide and seek. She loves bubbles and princesses and everything that a three-year-old should love. But behind this little smile, little Claire is fighting a deadly disease. DIPG which stands for diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma, which is um, a terminal brain cancer. Doctors diagnosed Claire on Father's Day last year. She's one of only three children in Ohio battling the rare disease. There is no cure, and fewer than 10% of kids survive two years from diagnosis. So Chris and Carla find hope where they can. We never thought we were going to get here. I remember in the days after, her oncologist said, if you don't do anything, you have two months. And so this is crazy. We're so lucky. We are, we're so lucky. Claire went through radiation and now goes to Cincinnati Children's Hospital for a clinical trial testing two oral chemotherapy drugs. Roughly 4% of all government public funding for cancer research goes to pediatric cancer. Nearly 0% of that goes to DIPG. That's why the Ronabombs are grateful for the guidance and mission of Prayers from Maria. You know them for the field of sunflowers along I-90 in Avon called Maria's Field of Hope. The organization raises money to fund pediatric brain cancer research. As for Claire's tumor? So it hasn't shrunk, um, but it hasn't grown. So she's doing so well, and we're just, we feel so lucky to have all this time when many other families don't. Claire knows enough about medicine to play doctor with her bunnies. What her parents know is the research she's part of wasn't available a decade ago. It's hope. I mean, it really is hope. Hope they want other families to have, too. We really want these limited years that Claire has to mean something. Not, obviously, she'll always mean something to us, but maybe even to somebody else and help someone else as well. Now, DIPG, it packs the part of the brain called the pons. Think of it like the message center for several areas of the brain, including where vital functions are done, like breathing and movement. Now, it typically affects children, about 300 new cases diagnosed each year in the U.S., so it is very rare, and treatment options are very limited. Now, it can't be removed because this is not a contained tumor, so you can't do surgery on it. And without further research, it will remain a fatal mm, diagnosis, wow, Russell. Oh, my goodness. Mm, yeah, that's tough. All right. Thanks Monica so much, Robbins. Monica. Thank you. Sure.